On this part, we start to speak about a very important part of our prestashop theme, which is the product list to Tipia. Why it's important? Because simply, this Tipia is used by more than one model. As example, in our home page, we see that we have two clickable buttons or link. One is called popular and the other one is bestseller. And by clicking, we see that the content of this, let's say, this block or this wrapper or this tab does change uh, accordingly to the selected tab. So, this means we have two hooked models in this part. But this part is a bit special because it's actually two different hooks. We have hoax number one, which is the content tab, uh, sorry, it's the tab part, and this is the content tab hook. Again, we need to go to our back office and position and a position and a module and position to understand more how things are going on here. So again, I'm in my back office, modules and services position, and in my search hook, I will type content. So as we see here, we have display home tab content. Then we have three hooked models. As we see, a new product, we'll, but we do not see any new product, or let's say we do not see that tab. We have also featured product on home page, which is the popular uh, tab. And we have a top seller block, which is this one, and it's properly displayed. So you may ask me why I'm not seeing the new product block simply because we have some setting right here for this block that we define the number of days that the product will be considered as a new and and uh, to be displayed at the front office and to do that we need to go to preferences products then we need to define the number of days as we, as i said so as you see a product I'm uh, sorry, this is a number of days for which the product is considered as new. So, yeah, so if I change this to 2000 as example and I hit save and back to my back office, normally I will have a new tab added and a new block of content added into, or oh, let's say, um, uh, down this menu. So just refreshing and actually it's loading the new product from database so this may take a little bit of time and there we go so, so this is a new arrival and but I'm sure we can change this these uh, appellation or these uh, this term the way we want it and I will show you later how to do that so now let's go ahead after this little presentation about these uh, blocks and let's see our template how does things look like and trying to uh, you know trying to set up it comparingly or let's say as it's designed or the theme so first thing we saw and we we have only one whole model which is a featured product but this uh, in our case we have uh, three so we don't need uh, we need to get rid of two so I only need to keep featured product which is a popular so back again to my back office the content and uh, checking the new product and the top seller and we unhook it but one more thing also to do so as I said before on the beginning of this video we have two hooks this hook is called the, uh, the content uh, the display home tab content or display home tab sorry so this is display home tab and this is display home tab content so as you understand there is some sort of relation between the two hooks so let's say this is the trigger so when I change this it triggers the display of the content to the associated let's say this to the best sellers or popular so in case I would like to unhook new arrival or new products also I need to unhook the content of the new arrival or new product which mean again to my the modules position I need to in hook new products block and top seller then after this I need to unhook also the content the two unhooked models from this tab content block so again I type content but this time so as we, we have display home tab content but only only this time I need to type tab so when I type the tab so we have a display home tab which is this part and I have two extra non-usable model that I need to in so check them 
and type in hook okay right now everything normally is okay and ready to let's say to start uh, working with CSS so first of all we need to give this a uh, gray background to my to to do this block or to this theme um to this part uh, okay let's try to focus a bit do not waste time later so we have a full width and center then a little text below and an icon and we have four products so again we need to go to back office to set up the number of featured product that can that will be displayed into this this hook again to um, so you need to go so let's turn this back to 20 then we need to go to models and services and we need to look for this model which is actually called popular products far oh featured sorry it's called featured so again in case you do, you 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 are confused or you don't find really the right name for the module again you can go right here type the hook name and you will have the right name to of the model hook it there so again i would type tab then i have featured product on home page you simply can just copy and grab the text back to this part and and there we go so i hit configure then again i'm here to define the number of product that will be displayed right here so again so the number of product to be displayed i only need four this is what my template let's say uh require four hit save back to front office refresh and normally i will have only four products okay so we're good then let's start working with this title or this uh, tab so we have uh, again with our inspector that facilitates so much the job and uh, personally I recommend the use of uh, Google Chrome because um, there's some good features as example if I do background red and I don't like that I just hit Control Z and I'm back this feature is not available on Mozilla or using the Firebug. Anyway, so let's do, let's stop wasting time again. So we have center. Then this is the UL. I just I will try to type text line center. Text line center. Then we need to remove. Uh, normally there is some float left here, somewhere. There is it. So float left, and there we go. But we don't need it to be this full width of ugly block. We need just to add a display uh, block, or I mean inline um, block, and that's it. Now we need to change the background, the font, and the label. I need to go to this TPL and uh, to show you something. If you remember on the first videos of this series, we speak about, or oh, I spoke about the translation of PrestaShop and how it handled translation. So let's go to my, or oh, to uh, this uh, this template, or this module template, which is uh, featured, home featured or featured, again, not only CSS, but directly on the template. So featured. Then feature.tpl. So that's why I said that product list.tpl is very, very important. <coughs> Sorry. And as we see here, it's used by home feature.tpl to display the featured product. I said we need to change this popular, or let's say this title, uh, to change it to uh, featured product. So again, I speak about uh, the translations. I was so I'll show you what does what I'll, I was speaking about. So normally, this is a hook and this is a hook. So this means we have a template that is hooked here, coming from the product or the the famous or the featured product uh, that is hooked into this tab, and we have another template from the same model that is hooked right here let's say it's rendered right here so if I go to my theme then models home features normally I should find 
two 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 PL files. So this one is for this part. This one is this product uh, grid that we are seeing here. But we need to have another one uh, for this uh, title or for this uh, block. But the case we don't have anyone. We only have one, and this index is for security, which means the system still using the default file or default template from the from the um, from the model itself we are walking directly into models and uh, let's say the core file and let's see a search for featured and this is the home featured we go to so this is maybe the first time that we dive into a model folder again don't bother it's not time to to you know to understand what's going on with models and so on again we need to go to views so by the way its structure is such mm, very easy and comprehensive so we have css image translation upgrade views and we have the major class here which generate all the stuff about the model okay it's not our job for this time only i need to go to views template hook and i have two files so this is a home feature that wa that we have at the, that's uh, let's say that is overridden by this one existing under the theme and we have a tab that uh, is not overridden by any other template so you may ask what overread mean actually PrestaShop present one of the very powerful feature or maybe PrestaShop is famous by the feature of overriding things again I think I said this before we don't change the core files whether it's a model class or controller so PrestaShop give us the possibility to override these default function again as we see in the home feature we are we, we let's say we uh, we notice that the home feature dot tpl exists exactly the same under the module folder but we did not work but we did not change or we do not work on this uh, let's say on this template, the default template, because in case I upgrade this feature, this home featured product model, sorry, my changes, my modification will be, let's say, uh, reset to zero and I will lose every customization I did. So that's why we have a copy of that uh, template under the theme folder. And as you see here, it's home featured. Uh, home feature .tpl under the theme uh, the, or the theme that we created bef uh, at the start of this series. So I hope that you are not confused. What we'll do now, again, I will not change this one, but I will copy it then back to my theme folder. So let's close the model folder. N then now go to theme new model, and as you guessed home featured and simply I will do paste the tab.tpl so now normally I can change this name or I can add the text or everything I would like to do and uh, with the guarantee that in case I update my model my change will not be lost so if I, I refresh the page normally I will see some new text added 